All right, how's it viewers? Uh, so I've traveled a long, long way from home. I'm here in Cape Town. So we, I flew down this morning. So I've come down with Sylvester, one of the anglers in the team. And we've decided to fish uh, Cape Town for a few days um, and then get a bit of practice and then get move on to Strace and he goes and fishes the tournament. We're here at Simon's Town and uh, so the plan is we're looking for a black paley um, and then tomorrow we're going to look at catching a bronzy and then the following day we're going to look at catching spotties and gullies. Okay viewers, so we're making a, a black ray bait. I'm no expert at fishing for them. But I'm told they just eat a big bait. So uh, I think it's a Cape Town thing. I'm struggling with their tools because uh, apparently these are the uh, these are the knives you're supposed to use in Cape Town. Big stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's more like a butcher knife. I don't know what they're trying to chop here. So so we got a nice sada and uh, I'm gonna try and bash it a little bit with this. I wouldn't call it a chaka hammer, I think it's a meat tenderizer. And uh, we're gonna put this as a base and then we're gonna cover it up with some oki. So we're trying to build up a big bait here. Uh, so I'm just putting the, obviously the meat on the inside just for some smell. And we're gonna cover it up. It seems like everything in Cape Town is upsize. The dangles are big, the sadas are big, the okis are big, and the paleys are big. So now we're gonna put enough of cotton on there. So guys, I, I don't really think they're, they're fussy. Feeders, they just want a big bait, so... Alright guys, so yeah, I've thrown my two baits now. I've thrown a, just a plain uh, Oki leg. A uh, nice big Oki leg and the other one was Sada with Oki on the outside. So yeah, the wait uh, starts. I borrowed Anand's uh, tournament setup as well. So he's got a 15 foot tournament with the Daiwa Dogfight 8000. Also, Beautiful setup, throws really well, 50 pound J-bread. Um, yeah, so we got the bait in the zone. Now we wait for a bite. Choice of weapons for today. Uh, obviously fishing for these black skates, you need heavy tackle and uh, so I'm going to throw a bait with my Daiwa Tournament 15 foot heavy and my Saltist 8000 with 50 pound J-Braid. Uh, that J-Braid is absolutely unbelievably strong. You cannot break it. I mean, the other day I got a Zambi on throw bait, a bull shark of 236 kilos in an hour and a half. Absolute crazy how hard you can pull it, uh, especially with this rod, the backbone. So it's the perfect ideal setup to bully these black rays out. Uh, so I'm gonna opt to throw like a Oki bait on this. We got some fresh Oki from one of the tackle shops. Republic. Keegan from Fishing Republic uh, sponsored Sponsor us some good bait. Uh, so thank you Keegan, thank you very much. If you guys are ever in the area, in the Strand area, visit Keegan's shop. Uh, yeah, so that's the tackle. And then obviously we're gonna drone a few bait, uh, baits out. So yeah, let's give it a bash. Okay guys, so we I'm assisting Anand throwing a bait out on uh, the Saltiga 50HA and the Saltist Heavy multiplier on it. It's been quiet so far, we've got baits out for an hour and uh, no bite either on drone or cast. I had one knock, I don't know what it was, on the cast bait. But uh, there's enough bait on there for it to come back. Conditions look great. I mean, we here at Simon Sun's always flat. The water is about 17 degrees. Uh, apparently, there's been a 
quite a few black uh, black paleys spotted over the last few days and there's been a lot of bait fish and a lot of chock activity so that's all good signs that we should get a bite today and we'll see who gets a bite first so i'm hoping the throw bait gets a bite first they do get bronzies now and then here so that'll be also exciting so i've put a, a 200 uh, sorry 175 pound full metal jacket um, it's a standard for fmj chase guys i've got a 12 o demon circle here very thick gauge hook obviously um, i didn't come with any tackle guys so this is all borrowed stuff uh, seven ounce sinker and that's standard trace guys i mean we're gonna throw this so uh yeah hopefully uh, apparently i need to throw about 80 meters which is far enough to try and find the black paley so that's, that's gonna be quite easy here a um, little bit of obstacles in this area so something to bear in mind there's power lines here uh, this, we just next to a train track and every now and then uh, a train comes past so we've got to dodge a train and uh, make sure our graphite rods don't touch the power lines otherwise you won't see me ever again so yeah, it's gonna be a bit tricky something different to me for, for me because uh, we don't have these hazards there in Zululand I mean our coast always you know very far away from civilization and these these things are not there so obviously nice to fish a different area I'm excited um, I'm really really hoping to catch a black ray uh, it's a new species for me if I catch one uh, we don't get them on our coast so yeah I've caught a few bronzies before so I'm not too phased about that for me it's more about the black skate and uh, we've got three days to make it count so stay tuned guys it's gonna be an awesome trip to Cape Town Getting a bite, yeah. Had a small pull, yeah. I think it was just a small fish, though. I don't think it was a paley because it was eating and coming forward. And we still got enough bait, yeah. So highly doubtful as a paley. Ah, uh, I doubt it. Not bait, yeah. It's coming forward, ladder. It's like waiting forever for it to come out. Good species, but uh, we'll take it. That's the first fish here for us in Cape Town. It's a baby cow, probably about I don't know 15 20 kilos. Uh, guys, uh, the other name for them is a uh, seven gill, seven gill cow shark. And uh, you got to be really careful with this fish because they can bite their tails and uh, they tend to twist a lot. So they you don't want to get your fingers in there. That thing's gonna turn around, it can actually bite its tail. Check it so. Okay, good fish, not bad. There we go. Take it. That one came on a came on a drone bait, a chucker, Sartiga 50 HA, and the uh, Sartiga, uh, sorry, the Saltus multiplier, 14 foot heavy. So I'm chuff, first fish for us in Cape Town. We anticipate the bite to get better as it got dark. The fish started to bite. Well, the first bite came. So yeah, if you can look on top of this. On top of this fish here, it's already got, obviously something has tried to chow it and it's got some bite marks that's busy healing now. So I'm not sure what it was, could be a white, could be a big bronzy. But yeah, obviously these guys are... There's a lot of predators around here in these cold waters of the Cape. So it could be anything with some big teeth. Alright, so let's get it back. So that was the first bite, uh, not the target species, it was a little cow of about 20 kilos, 15-20 kilos odd, male one. Very angry, 
fish <laughs> always tries to bite you. But a bite's a bite, we're happy. At least we got one fish on the cart here at Cape Town. So we're still gonna persist. Now it's starting to get a little bit dark and uh, I'm told that this is the perfect time, the tide's pushing. So we're gonna still push through and try and get that black failing. Sure that bite's gonna come any time now. So we still got a few baits out. The throw baits are still out, they haven't had a bite yet. So yeah, we're gonna keep positive and keep trying. Let's go. Come on, well done. Okay guys, so after a long, long, long wait, uh, Sylvester went on with the fish now. Uh, looks like a black bear. Well, we think it's a black bear, it's behaving like one. Um, he's getting some line in now. So, yeah, exciting guys, exciting. This is what we came for, so Sylvester, you better land this one. Uh, I'm told that you gotta pull it as hard as you can, so Sylvester is doing a really good job, yeah? He's pulling it, uh, yeah. Stand by, guys. This thing, this, this is gonna get exciting, I think. Sylvester, are you up for it? Nice, well done. Now, the, I threw a big hockey bait. Um, and obviously, in search of the black paley, Sylvester is on with one now. And then I went on with this cow shark. So, looks like the bites are starting to come down the push. So, it's getting a bit hectic here because every, every bait we put in is getting charred, eh? Okay guys, so another cow on the floor there. So, our bites, bites definitely starting to come now. We're gonna put this on back and quickly go and put another bait. All right. That's it, tight guys. That's a goodie. All right guys, so, yeah. Slow baits, I was only getting cow sharks. This is actually my swim bait set up back home. So we drawn the yellowtail head and bobbed your uncle. We're on. This one sat in the water for about, I don't know, an hour? Hour or so? Now it doesn't feel like a really big fish. I don't know, it's just coming, so I'm pulling. Got, uh, got my top shot in. Now the fight begins. Best for these things, you just save your back and you straight stick it right onto the front, and then you just bully this thing out. Huh? So, I'm gonna see if I can beat Sylvester. He's about 50 meters out, this one's about 200. So, let's see if I can beat him. Challenge is on. Oh, that's at the moment. I just showed Sylvester how to pull a black skate. I pulled this fish in under, I don't know, 10 minutes, probably 15 minutes max. Sylvester was on for about two hours and uh, got the pretty much the same size fish. I landed mine on my own. I've got my leader in here. Uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for some to just come and quickly help me grab it. 
But yeah, good fish. Yeah, looks like about a hundred and I don't know, hundred and fifty odd kilo fish. So just waiting for somebody to help me. I'm just trying to keep the fish in the water. Uh, it's just here in the dump. So these oaks should be here shortly, and then we can just quickly take a snap, take a measurement, and we'll get him back. To get two out today, two good specimens, probably 150, 160 kilos. This one's ready to go back now. Took a few snaps, took a measurement. I'm chopped. Let's go. Come on. The beast. <laughs> 